Matthew Harvey suspended 60 games for violation of joint drug agreement. He has been suspended by Major League Baseball for 60 games for participating in the distribution of a prohibited a drug of abuse in violation of Major League Baseball's joint drug prevention and treatment program. Uh, the suspension retroactively begins uh, on April 29th, meaning that Harvey will be first eligible to return in late June. Uh, he's not right now on the O's 40-man roster. Harvey was one of multiple players called to testify in the trial of former Angels um, communications director Eric K, who was eventually convicted of distributing fentanyl that resulted in the death of former Angels pitcher uh, Tyler Skaggs. If you remember, uh, Harvey was on the Angels. Um, and uh, a series of players admitted on the witness stand that they were provided opioids by K. Uh, but Harvey testified he also provided Skaggs with Percocet pills. Harvey had been granted immunity from criminal persecution. Wow. So Harvey was a free agent uh, at the time of the trial. The Orioles resigned him to a minor league deal in April, but he has yet to report to an affiliate after missing spring training. Uh, Baltimore obviously was aware of the possibility of a suspension at the time that they did sign him. If you sum this up to give your two cents on it, Matt Harvey is lucky that he's not in jail. He's lucky he's not dead. When you take these drugs, uh, you are you're, you're, it's almost like you're playing Russian roulette. There's no quality control um, where these come from. They're smuggled across the border. And people take them as if they were, um, you know, manufacturally, legally, in some parts of the U.S., Harvey was given immunity because he testified against the man who sold Skaggs the drugs. But it could have been just as easily Harvey who sold Skaggs the drugs. Uh, it really was that serious against Harvey. This is not an extreme. Um... If you're thinking that his ex ex 60 games was extreme, listen, you're not talking about a bag of weed over here. You're talking about a circle of players passing around fentanyl and Percocets that resulted in the death of one player. It actually seemed fair that both jail and lifetime ban would be on the table. Luckily for Harvey, he got uh, immunity uh, from any you know types of charges. Really, a sad case all around.